Subconsciously, we're all struggling with something. Our mind is going through an all-time stress of decisions and consequences. Trust me, my statement is not hasty generalization. It doesn't mean we all need an appointment with a therapist. Yet more people than ever before in history are dealing with something. Something is beginning to affect them more than normal, and they are losing it. Yet this something is mostly filed away as the normal daily grind. Let's go to the streets. Um, to me, uh, I believe say mental health, they happen for a person where they depressed, I mean, when they feel as in life they go. You know, say some people go there, maybe say so many things go, they bother them. And they don't go get person where they follow talk on. If it costs mental health, huh? now wait till me, I feel with that. If you are in love with someone and if it's just maybe the break, through the breakup, it can also lead to mental health. Um, an excess of alcohol. Many people don't understand what this whole fuss about mental health is or what the word even means. So what's like be a man? That's a woman's rule. You're not good enough. You're adding weight. You're too skinny and many more are thrown around carelessly. People are also dealing with things they have no courage to speak up about. But still, we wake up daily, face life, smile, do what we can do to survive. It's what we do. There really is no choice in the matter, or so it seems. Mental health for me includes uh, emotional, physical and social well-being. A lot of people today think mental health is just you know, when you're crazy or you're depressed, but it goes beyond that for me. You know, feelings of um, psychological distress, sadness, unusual anxiety. Being as a banker, for me I, like, I love numbers, I love analytics. So, in order for me to uh, balance my mental health, I look at inward to see how I can infuse my, what matters and what are, uh, what are critical to me as a human being, my family, my everything, to balance everything with the work I do. So, ability to be able to identify what are so important to a human being is very critical for you to balance your mental health. Um, to protect your mental health, I think it's important that we find things that we love to do, um, to be with people that we like or enjoy to be with. So find things outside of work, you know, things that boost your life outside work. So be it spiritual, be it um, physical activity, be it reading, be it having fun. Um, I think there are a number of ways that, or a number of things that we can do as human beings to boost our mental health. So it's important that we check on, you know, this levers that affect our mental health and just to um, be in a community of people as well. I think that's important. Even with awareness about the effect of life on our mental health, what decisions are we making? It's not enough to throw the world mental health around. How are we making an effort to ensure that we and the people in our lives are not getting sick mentally? It's okay not to be okay. Life itself will make sure of that. However, it's not okay to remain not okay. That was a mouthful, but please stay with me. Whatever you can do to make life easier for the next person, do it. You don't know what others are going through, so pass your message. Make a point and fulfill your role in their lives without thoughtless cruelty. <sighs> to yourself, be kind. Pressure sometimes is a result of overthinking and overanalyzing. Every good thing will come with patience, strategy, and favor. Even when bad things happen, because this is life after all. Don't let it take you away. Living is always a sign of hope, but if it ever gets too much, get help. Seek out a mental health counselor or a therapist. Please be okay. Make a choice to be okay.